Hello everyone, welcome to the CNFT.Tools Discord server. I am Toolsin and I'm joined by Zora from The Deadly Sins, uh, which is a very, very well hyped project that uh, sold out just a few days ago. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to say hello Zora, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, we can go on from there. Awesome, thank you for inviting me. Um, I'm Zora, my actual name's Ethan, but Zora's what I go on by here. Um, I'm 22, I turn 23 next month, I'm about to graduate soon. I study computer science and artificial intelligence, and I kind of uh, really focus on uh, Python and machine learning. So um, I'm trying to apply my skills to the Cardano community, and that's what I'm tackling with this project that I'm taking under. And um, so with the Deadly Sins, we are a community-based project, there's 6,666 deadly sins on the uh, blockchain uh, we aim to uh, create this concept called hell's house hell's house is a place for all our sinners to um, hang out and participate in community games events uh, social meetups it, we, we really are trying to bring cardano's community-centric values over to the metaverse as well and help with the integration so we're really um just making sure the community stays at heart as we go forward. And we have so many um, benefits for being a part of this journey with us. And the, the more involved you are, the, the more that those benefits come to fruition. So um, that's what lots of our members have been starting to see. And yeah, we sold out recently. It's been great. We've been getting a lot more new people, people asking, what is the deadly sins? I invested in it, but what is it? And <laughs> a lot of them just trying to figure it all out. <laughs> Yeah. We, we have a whole deadly paper and everything so um but i'm still having just to reiterate some things just to catch everyone up so doing something like this ama is really helpful for all the new people as well coming on board yeah i mean i, I reckon like less than 10 percent of people actually read white papers <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah every single one will moan that there isn't one to read if you haven't done one but only 10 percent will actually read it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I got a, um, when people are like, oh, what's the actual utility then? And then I'm like, well, have you not read the Deadly paper? We updated it recently. What's Deadly paper? So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've been having to reiterate from some things because a lot of people didn't even know we're um, staking um, within a month as well uh, with uh, Mutant DAO because that was a pre-launch announcement, but it's yeah. in our Deadly paper as well. But we want to bring utility to our user base really early. And one of them is going to be through staking your deadly sins. And um, we have partnered with Mutant DAO for this. We're going to be operating under their system. They have an amazing system. Um, Andy was breaking everything down to me with the, 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 the halving process that they go through and all oh, the distribution lines. And it really is just top tier. So I am very happy to um, have my community uh, be on that platform because they'll get a good user experience. So we'll have a native token where by staking your Deadly Sins NFTs, you'll be getting our native token as the staking reward. So, and there's different things that can increase this, such as the amount you hold, uh, trait rarity, and the length they've been um, staked. So um, those are the three main ones, which also means even the least rare sins still have value because the biggest multiplier to this is the amount of deadly sins you have. So some of the steals in the market right now, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about um, floor price and other bits and pieces uh, a little later on. Um, mm -hmm. I do kind of like to take it back uh, a little bit to start with and you know, of course. F find out um, sort of like what attracted you to NFTs in the first place and then what led you to the decision to, to, to go ahead with your own project? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> kind of no, no, past. no, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, um, so I got, in, well, I got into crypto in uh, 2017 originally. Um, that was back when um, I wanted to buy usernames and stuff and everyone's like, oh, you got to pay me crypto for this cool <laughs> username. So uh, that's, that's how I got into it originally. Um, but um, I then got into trading and uh, get, getting really into um, just the market 
In terms of uh, NFTs, though, I had um, a friend who's been in Cardano NFTs for a while, um, and he was really pushing for me to come over because we do trading as well together. And I didn't until late last year. And when I first joined the community, I was really just blown away by how like community centric Cardano is and how everyone's trying to push each other up. And I think that's a really good um, value system to have. And I got involved in some projects with uh, just um, being invested in them and really seeing the space. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. How do I get involved more? What can I bring? And that's when um, uh, me and Amy, the other co-founder, she is the artist, we, we thought for a second, uh, wait a second, wait, we actually have the perfect uh, combo in terms of our skill sets to actually create something on here because she's an amazing, amazing digital artist. And um, I do everything on the, the dev end, really. So it's, when, I, when we thought about that, we're like, oh, what can we bring and what can we do what values do we want to bring with us as well and what we found was um after we were planning for weeks uh we were like okay we gotta keep the community at heart because that's what we enjoy in the space let's bring that into the project so we were planning events around the community and how to keep them involved and engaged and feeling like they're a part of the journey with us not just that oh they've invested and we're going on some journey you know what i mean I want them to feel like they're a part of the journey as well. Um, and so when we decided to make it The Deadly Sins, uh, because we like this um, anime called Black Clover, it's to do with um, this magic ki kingdom, and there's demons and all these other things, and we got inspired by that to add our own twist to it and uh, make something that we uh, resonated with a bit. And it's just, there's no political intention behind it, which I've been asked about before with yeah. all the hell and all the other things. It's Ugh. literally just, um, yeah. not, not, you know, not everything has to be an attack on somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just, um, uh, just a place for sinners to hang out and have fun in a community centric way while going on this journey, while we bring something, um, to the metaverse as well, which I'll get onto later. <laughs> So, so why the deadly sins, and why, and and uh, what other ideas that did you have before that you settled on the deadly sins? Um, why in deadly sins to in investors is um, we very much our um, community at heart. So, I'm sorry, when sorry, you... I meant more from oh. like the artistic perspective. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but, you know, it, well, why not yet another eight project, <laughs> for instance? Oh, yeah. Um, so when we decided, when we were inspired from um, Black Clover, we we it's very much uh, demon based um, that show. Okay. So we, yeah, we we were looking how we can add that into it, and we saw there wasn't many demon sort of projects out there. Um, we did see quite a lot of um, repetitions on the market and. Um, things that we thought were a bit becoming more abundant and uh, people copying each other and stuff. So we very much wanted to stand out in terms of the art sense, which Amy's done an amazing job at. at. Yeah. So um, we very much, um, that's how we got to the idea of the concept. We actually, um, I'm not, I don't think I can tag it in here, but uh, we showed the con original concepts. They're really cool with um, how Amy was drawing them originally to um, bring it to life. We were planning this project for weeks before we even first launched. We were literally planning it out step by step. <laughs> so, how how long did uh, how long ago uh, was it that you you said right? Okay, it's going to be the sins. Let's get it on. Let's start drawing. Let's start building the Discord. Whatever you know. How, how long is it taking to go from that to 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 sell out with a, with a bright future? Thank you. Um, honestly, um, the whole process in total almost close to half a year because we start, first started talking about it at the end of um, January. We started um, then talking about concepts and how we would bring this to life and how we'd actually do something because we, we're, very, we're very, much, very much in the mindset of um, how can you deliver and create something that's actually going to be good without thoroughly planning out the steps and how to create value. So throughout all of February, we were planning that all out, 
including the team and how we would get this work done. And that's where I um, met Solly and Nance as well, who are my other team members. They helped me out with the social media and all like product management side. So the one running the Twitter, 99% of the time will be Solly. He, he's, he's real great at um, bringing that um, community hype and uh, communicating well through social media. And that's been a big part of our success as well, I think, is how we've been able to communicate to our community and keep them engaged because people are always looking for the next thing. They, the attention span is short and um, how, how do we retain that attention? And that's through constant communication in an effective and, and well-delivered way. And that's what we did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you guys have done a, a pretty decent job so far, it has to be said. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about six months in total, I'd say, from um, about, about January, f- February, we were planning the concepts. March, we were having our um, Twitter launch. And then from like uh, really late March to um, now was our marketing and showing what we're going to be bringing to Cardano. So, yeah. So have you needed to take on anyone else into the team or is it uh, mainly sort of like yourself and... uh, Sorry, I can't remember a name now. Terrible names at the best of times. Amy. (laughs) Amy, that's it. Sorry. I do do apologise. But is it still basically just you two or have you taken on uh, other people to help with with other bits and pieces, whether it's, you know, community moderation and promotion or, you know, extra help on the dev front? Of course. Um, Well, uh, with um, growing when we scaled, um, we have community mods. We call them Hell's Guards. We have about 12 of them now. We picked um, community members that we saw had the deadly sins as their, like, focus and were very much in love with the project and we saw that they had the project's best interest in mind so we're like come along (laughs) and go on this journey with us come here (laughs) so we um they very much um, have have a whole ton amount of work for you (laughs) yeah (laughs) they're they're great they love doing it um they're helping out with the chat and communicating things to our audience and making sure moderation is all good in there um in terms of the other side of things um I've actually, I, I like work with people behind the scenes to help bring things to life, such as um, for all the meta side, we've, I've already contracted with all our meta designers for all the different platforms um, that we need to get this done. So like I'm not actually the one, like, or Amy's not the one designing, or she's doing the concepts, but we're not designing in the 3D modeler, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. that's someone else doing it. And all I'm doing on the dev side of that is helping with like some of the like, coding, like some of the animation and object interaction. The actual build process is um, very much um, we 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 outsource we source help help basically and um, get work from there. So we very much can keep it a small, effective core team and source work outwards where we um, need it. So yeah, that's how we okay. go about our things. I mean, how do you go about finding the the, the, the companies that, that you're using for this work? Are they are they companies more local to you or Oh it, honestly it was really um crazy how we um found them. Um so we have a few different ones. For example, uh for Boss Cat Real Estate we have uh Nala, the one who did all the uh, voxels and um everything to do with their metaverse really. Um, and then for the, the um, Unreal Engine 5 one, the one we're going to be doing on places such as Cornucopia, the one we're do- designing first, is actually a project that hasn't launched yet called Speed Throne. And wow, they are incredibly talented people. Um, how we found them was so strange as well. Um, I, I always try to look at my DMs, and um, sometimes I get a load of rubbish in there, so just yeah. clicking by... Yeah. And then I saw one said, it said like, oh, Zora, hey, do you have a minute to talk? And I was in a good mood in the morning. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? And um, it, he's like, oh, we're starting a project soon. Uh, would you like to, to talk with us sort of thing? And I was like, sure. And it was a Google Meets link. And I click it. They're so professional. And um, the way they were communicating with me, their plan, what they wanted to do, I'm like, you guys are seriously talented. And they're not launching at the moment because of the current um, market 
But when they do launch, wow, Cardano is going to very much be interested in them. And we've partnered with them behind the scenes. Their um, product level and um, talent is honestly on par with the level of the cornucopias. So having them working with us too, they, they just said that they can help us with our design processes and stuff as, that, as well as that. And we've been getting that all sorted. That's how we met them. It wasn't like I had to search them. It was just from a random DM. <laughs> yeah. And it was, so it was quite it's, crazy. It's surprising what can come from a random DM, you know. Yeah, I could have easily just clicked an X button on it and that that connection would never have happened. Yeah. So <laughs> was... That's the thing. It's like, you know, you had to be in the right kind of mood to like, you know, because those things so often they're like, oh, you know, I, I, I am whoever from the Philippines and I would like to moderate your Discord server and, and I'll give you plenty of reactions up to a thousand yeah. five dollars a day and yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I very much um, what was it uh, got quite lucky with that connection and in terms of our unity one um, we're, we're using um, his name's 3D verse uh, he is a creator on um, unbounded earth and has also worked for Pavia as well on certain things. So he's very much um, talented. I think, yeah, I think he's at... involved in some other stuff as well. I've, I've seen the name around. Um, yeah, like Robo Robotunes. Tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Robo Tunes actually. Yeah, no, me too. They're really unique concept and very cool. <laughs> I've got a couple. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I have one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's how that's how we got our work sourced for us um, for that sort of side of things. We very much have a real uh, cool system in p place where we, like I said, keep our core team small and source help where we need it in an effective, professional way. Yeah, I mean that's you know it's it it it's good to see that mint funds are being well spent, if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> lots of um, investors when they invest in a project. Um, from my experience, um, if a project doesn't communicate well, um, investors start thinking, well, where's this money spent? Or like, where are the team? They promised this, were they doing that? So we very much do focus on our communication, which is what you'll find if you go in our Deadly Sin server. We lay everything out um, as communicated as we can for certain things, such as a, our bank log channel, which is where you can find all of our expenditure um, going forward where you can get a bank roll to be pinged whenever we do we have some coming soon as well at the moment because it's been a bit of expenses post mint getting things ready and stuff like that paying moderators level contests and stuff so i've um got a lot to write in there but yeah we communicate things uh very well and keep everyone at the forefront of that yeah i mean yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like, I I promise we'll get on to to, to, to the good stuff uh, in a bit um, <clears> about <throat> the, the traits and everything. Um, <laughs> but sort of like, I was, I mean, a question that seems to become that's that's a lot more relevant in today's market is mm -hmm. whether you or anyone on the team has relevant business experience running a company, um, and mm -hmm. any special measures you've taken because of the the volatility of the crypto market that's a real great question i have, haven't actually been um asked that before with that um and we do have um a team member nuts he is um a product manager in his actual uh work day-to-day -day life and he very much manages the professional side behind us and for example uh to make things um organized as a business um, we use something called Trello, which is a good way to um, organize um, our workload between team members and know what everyone's working on and how and deadlines and stuff. So yes, we do have someone on the team who um, has biz relative business experience and knows how to um, get those things done, which is um, very needed, as you as you mentioned. Um, and with the volatility of the market. Um, we've had to really focus on um, building our brand and creating a community strong enough to withstand that and also how create enough um, uh, utility and stuff to happen quite soon after Mint so people don't get bored or scared within the market. Because a few months ago, 
um, maybe you could leave things a little bit and things be fine. But in a market like this, we've got to make sure we're very much at the forefront of making people feel like we're doing something, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> it's, I mean, the, 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 the reality of the market right now is that if you can sell out, um, you're, you know, you're a very highly anticipated project. I mean, there's, there's, there's projects that have, that have launched recently that while I didn't expect them to sell out straight away or anything like that, I expected them to do reasonably well. Um, but then they went and sold, you know, 10% at most or, you know, 5% of what they had on offer. Yeah, it's, and it, it is a rough been pretty, I mean, sort of like the, the, the same time you launched, there was, you know, four or five other projects that between them probably sold like 200, 200 NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> so, <right. laughs> um that's why um we were talking with uh melting moon boys actually like two weeks before both of us launched saying um uh we both have quite a large audience um that's on each other's mint day um share our audiences to help push each other up um because uh we <laughs> We want to make sure there's some projects in June that are successful, you know, so projects in July and August have a chance. So we very much um, shared and maximized our audiences to try and make it, make it a success. And wow, look at Melting Moon Boys now. They're doing amazing. And um, we've just launched as well. And our post-market volume is doing great too. And I really think our floor will... Ref have some nice reflections within the next week or so when we start pushing out more things things are looking good for um our two projects i believe yeah i mean I, I i don't believe you can put too much stock in an early drop on the floor price anyway there's mm. i i can probably count on one hand the amount of projects that haven't dipped below floor price after mint in the last year yeah <laughs> like it's it's gonna happen sometimes it lasts a day or two sometimes it lasts a week or two um but you know it's it's not something that affects the the, the health of the project like it's like some people would have you believe because those people generally are just wanting to sell in the first place anyway yeah <laughs> Like, you know, the more somebody says, like, you know, sweep the floor or whatever like that, you know that's because they've listed theirs at the floor and they want red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with um, our uh, floor as well, we're not, we're not, we're not worried. Um, we very much are, are very happy with um, all the volume coming through. it. We have lots of high sales as well. What that means is high individual sales where we see ones going for over a thousand or over 500. Those high sales show genuine interest and belief in the project. Um, we have over 30 whales now from what I can see just who have actually verified their wallet in our server. Uh, a lot of people are ready for it's like, like an accumulation phase almost how I see it. <coughs> so is there anything that happened that that you had going on with the drop that sort of like now that you're a little bit you passed it that you do that you'd have done slightly differently um with how i communicated my um announcements and everything i re i planned it about uh three days in advance everything i was going to be saying and stuff i really planned it out i really don't think in terms of how i communicated everything that um, I would have done anything uh, differently, actually. I think um, everything went pretty smooth in terms of the mint. Uh, we had some s small problems, such as the, uh, on JPEG store, you see how there's a one headpiece attribute and then a headpiece of a colon sort of thing that's being fixed yeah. at the moment. Just yeah. maybe yeah. some more final checks, maybe, just to make sure everything was crisp. But gosh, I do say though when you get close to mint things do get very hectic and things can um slip by <laughs> yeah i mean you know it's yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing i mean uh i i, I know you had a lot uh, a lot of conversation going on with brad about uh different things for for the tools listing and everything like that and i can only imagine what else was going on in the background for you as oh, well. God. yeah 
Uh, I feel I feel bad for Brad. I just would pig him and <laughs> <laughs> Brad help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you know, he 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 he's quite used to it. I mean, uh, it's. It happens on a regular basis from from a lot of projects who list with us. To be honest, <laughs> no, you guys at Tools, you're you're all great. Honestly, so thank you for helping us um, with pre-launch and and post-launch with with certain things. Yeah, I mean it's it's all part of the service. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we we're, we're just glad to be able to give everybody you know accurate information as soon as possible. You know what I mean? Like it's. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got different ways of doing things. Like you know, it's but you know, we 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 pride ourselves on everything being bang on, spot on, and that, that's yeah. Well. <laughs> well, you guys do a very well, good job at that. So, how many different traits are there out of all the uh, sins? One hundred and fifty-two, and in terms of traits, which actually influence uh, roles, about one hundred and forty, I think. Oh wow! So you have to be pretty unlucky not to get a roll if you if if you minted one then. <laughs> well, it's um the uh the combination of traits we try to um spread it out so each one has at least something quite difficult. Some have two things quite difficult to attain. So it's not everyone's going to be spammed with tons of rolls in their chat. It is um you have to kind of go out to get them unless you're a whale. There are there are a few. I checked one person server are. Uh, um, biggest holder, I think he has like 102 sins, like wow um, I'm pretty sure he has quite a lot of rolls <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might, I might have to uh, try and find that guy out later, I, I mean I, I was looking through because I was trying to work out because uh, uh, I, I have a few sins as I mentioned uh, before we started and I was trying mm-hmm. to work out what on earth it was that would give me the fiend uh, title, and I was like looking through all the all the different traits, like no, I can't find anything fiend related <laughs> And I'm like, is it is it because of the, uh, the 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 black skin one I've got? Uh, um, no, fiend actually. I know I'm not supposed to say till Thursday, but fiend's one of the holder roles. So um, you, that means you have between five to ten deadly sins. Ah, sweet. You see, that's like that's what I thought it was, and then sort of like I started <laughs> seeing about all this stuff, about, and I'm like, well, is it that? Is it that? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting all excited. I was like, oh, maybe I did get a good one. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. We try and make um make it so even traits you wouldn't think are useful actually do become useful because of uh, what we want to bring with them. Ah, nice. So, so it could be like you know the uh, the, the the propeller cap, which is uh, a, a more more common item, have, having a part in this with a perhaps a rarer trait. Yeah, I believe that one comes under misfit or something. Let me have a look. I'm having a look now. Um, yeah, the uh, propeller cap is under the roll misfit, which actually is the one with the most ones to get. I think it, you need seven traits to get that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, and those traits can be spread out throughout your entire collection, yeah? Yes. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try to go for quite a unique system because when I was asking Brad questions about it, um, he was showing me like what Safari. Uh, squad did with how if you have a different animal head that's the role you get yeah. i was like i talked to solly about it i was like we can get really creative with this and then add utility around it because adding more utility that doesn't become redundant is always a positive something yeah. that's actually going to be useful so um i guess we do want to do the big announcement on thursday about it but i can share some light on it now um essentially with the different roles that we're going to have different um, perks for them, such as a raffle system for rolls. So we um, live, we do it on live video and raffle and see which rolls make it for a certain fixed time period. And in this fixed time period, we'd hold a community event, and so it could be something such as uh, the big poker event we did when we hit six thousand six hundred sixty-six members. If you have a certain role, then you could sign up and have crazy rewards, such as a three thousand ADA. Uh, um, pool of prizes for example so we're going to have discord events based around roles and also we're going to have them incorporated into our metaverse as well so if you have a certain uh, role um, such as for example nightmare um, you could in the metaverse uh, do something um, in a community way 
So we're going to have community events such as think of think of Harry Potter out of different houses like Gryffindor yeah. and stuff. We want to kind of split them up. For example, Infernals, you need all the like fiery sort of traits. Yeah. Um, if Infernals having a, a day where they can um, participate in an event where you can earn a lot of our um, native token, all these events will be based around our native token because that's our um, main currency there. Okay, so you can have like you know the, the the different roles as being your 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 entry key into different areas of the house house, for instance, as well. Yeah, that is very much a possibility. We might have um, separate sections for different things like that, or for certain days and stuff for, for different things. We're gonna have we're gonna be really creative with it, and we're gonna we have to communicate it very effectively though, because because there's quite a few different roles, and we want people to know the the actual utility behind it. And it was quite interesting because stuff like, oh, I want the punk role, for example, but um, you need the uh, bolt marking trait to final it up. So it means every single trait does become important to you. So even things that aren't that rare still hold value. And it can push the floor up for certain traits on different events. And it's, yeah, it's a nice little system going on. Yeah, de- definitely encourages uh, a little bit of trading, a little bit of moving around of uh, of, of stuff, but also uh, definitely a, a hodler's paradise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a hodler's paradise on that one. Mm-hmm. We definitely do um, re- reward our holders as well with even the staking, because the longer you stake something, the more reward you'll get, because that's determined within the multiplier. So... I can't let the staking thing slide by yet again without bringing up the ear tag. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, so for, for, for those who uh, are, are watching this for the first time on YouTube, there is a unlisted video that was published by uh, The Deadly Sins explaining that the ear tag was going to have uh, some, some sizable uh, bonuses associated with it. Um, we're still waiting for more information, uh, but yeah... <laughs> hoping for a little bit now at least yep okay um as you can see in our server today we've um put the first sneak peek onto it where you can see a sacred amulet yes. this is one part of the um airdrop the airdrop is a is a one thing but it's another how do i explain as well sorry um there will be this like nft which has um the amulet and also Another item, which I think I think I can say it, um, a mask, a particular one, which I think you guys will find interesting. If you look in our collection, we like keeping mystique around things. <laughs> um, and by holding this um, NFT and staking it, um, you will get a bonus, um, incentivized bonus um, on your uh, staking reward. Quite a significant one, which actually improves <laughs> Improves your uh, re- like return on your investment a lot, a lot more, and also within the metaverse, it is going to be you, you're basically going to scan uh, the mask and have to use the amulet to unlock a certain pathway in our hell's house to get to a special room, which we're not going to say what it's about just yet. <laughs> oh wow! So that's, that's a big plans for for that for those ear tags then. <laughs> oh yeah and so the ear tags don't lose value we're having to say um that you only get half of the bonus of staking the um uh airdropped nft um you only get half of the bonus if you don't have a ear tag being staked as well so people don't just dump their ear tags completely you get the full reward by having both okay okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that that's that's pretty sweet. <laughs> and, Trying to add a cool little utility. Um, I, I believe that um I've seen that you're hoping to have staking within a month. Yeah, just one month with um mutant DAO. I mean Under that's, that, that's, that 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 is an impressive turnaround, uh, even given the fact that you've probably been working on this for a little bit longer than uh, than since the mint, but yeah, that's an impressive turnaround. <laughs> Thank you. We very much wanted to um, get things done quickly so that um, we could just provide to our um, investors as, as best as we can because um, 
what we saw before we started the project is lots of projects which had a successful mint and then kind of just went a bit quiet and took too long and then their discord just started to dwindle away and investors started to dwindle away we want to keep people with us and show them that we are the real deal so um have you got a, a name for your coin yet sorry Oh, we have to um, keep this a secret. Solly would kill me because it's incorporated <laughs> into our law. That's all oh, I'm going to yeah. say on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what are you expecting people to be able to use their coin to to do? Um, so it's going to be the main currency within Hell's House. So you can use it for to enter such things like the community competitions to get more back if you. Um, complete tasks and stuff um also um there's gonna be a shop system where we're gonna sell things in our shop and that our collaborations also sell things and you have to use the token to purchase it um and then we're also going to have things such as community games where community members can play amongst each other to uh try with more of the token so for example we have one game we already have planned out called ritual poker where um, each um, player uh, puts in a set amount of token that the host agrees to, um, and then the on the ability to outskill and uh, beat your opponents, you win the, the the pot basically. Okay, I mean, so we... sorry, tough question coming up here, but is there any issues with gambling related laws in different jurisdictions? Yes, which is um, which is why we have to um, make uh, no money from it. We just pay for the transaction fees, so we make no money from this. And also, we are getting um, someone involved to make sure everything is all above board and um, we can carry out some of those uh, games. Because there are some games which um, come under... Um, some gambling categories such as ritual poker there's a lot of games that aren't gambling related to we have a lot of real cool interactive plans for hell's house so it's not just something like we drop it and people explore it have a look around once then go we want to make it so people can come back there and do different things on different days and actually just be involved with it you know okay so 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 it's going to be more than a, a casino with a couple of lounges yeah <laughs> a lot more <laughs> So stuff outside as well, such as we want to incorporate a haunted maze where um, if you complete, um, if you find the, uh, basically the end of the maze um, every single day, you can get more token as well, but you have to complete it yourself. So, I mean, another probably slightly awkward question for you now, though. Um, given That's the right. fact <laughs> that you're going to be running effectively real money tournaments, buy-ins for different games... Is there going to be any way for users to be able to track fairness of these games and make sure that there isn't any funny business going on, for instance? Oh, so like people... Yeah, um, like, more... like, like a super user account on poker that could see everybody's cards, for instance. Okay. Um, so what we are using at the moment, I believe it is... Let me just get it up real quick. Yeah, it's poker, poker now. Uh, oh, okay. it's yeah so basically what you would do is um how we have it set at the moment is um in when the host sets the uh the floor level of the token you have to put in um and everyone agrees it would redirect them to an already organized tournament structure that we've designed and um then the person who, who wins it will have a system where uh the owner of the wallet who won gets given that token basically okay so so you've outsourced that effectively to yeah to poker now yeah okay i mean yeah i mean i i, I used to play uh, quite a bit of online poker myself so uh, i am I'm mm. familiar with poker now um they yeah, have, like, hand stuff, and stuff to, to a certain extent um but yeah it's uh you know because there's there's always obviously issues around certain games with like collusion and things like that when there's oh, yeah. more than two people taking part. True, which is why we're going to make sure before we do anything too big, um, we would um, really dive into trying to minimise any things that could go wrong. Yeah, I mean, um, 
will, will the token be tradable on uh, different DEXs and stuff like that? Yes, so you can transfer this token into ADA at any point you wish, it's, uh, un when you claim it, basically, from the um, staking system with mutants. Basically, it will say, um, oh, you're, you've been given this amount now, you can claim it now, or you can let it build up. You click claim, it will go into your wallet, and then you can trade it on an exchange. That's cool. Is there any is there any sort of like run out time like you you have to collect every month or you lose it or anything like that or if you uh, ignore it for sort of like six months and come back everything will be there. I um I believe um that if you leave it even like a year it would still be there because that is for you basically. Sweet. I mean you know some some people are forgetful and some people like to to fire an investment and then uh, remember about it two years later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when, yeah. When the we... financial situation changes, it's, it's, it's always fun to have something in your back pocket. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, um, it's, it, it's a hard question for some people to answer, but do you have a favourite sin? Yes, um, my profile picture. Um, <laughs> um, basically, uh, the one that I have, the... Um, it's with the phantom mask and the phantom tusk, uh, tux with a spectre tail and also the phantom forest background. It's so cool. I got it from, um, we have a phantom member actually. His name's Grandpa Demon. And um, he was trying to um, sell a couple of them to get more liquidity to get one he wanted. And I was like, I really like that one. And we organized a little, um, little trade for that. <laughs> so it's my favorite one. In terms of the uh, act, like one of ones and stuff, though, it's a real tough question. But I really love Pride. Pride's so cool. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think they all look amazing, actually. Um, <laughs> like, it, it it's it's hard for me to pick a favorite, to be honest. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, Wrath is pretty pretty sweet. <laughs> Wrath yeah, is pretty sweet. But I, I, I do like uh, Hades as well. Oh yeah, Hades is really cool. Which, um, I mean, is isn't that technically Cerberus? Yeah, um, in in the background, that is his uh, pets, the Cerberus um, dog, and he's in the cloak at the front. Ah, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm looking from afar on uh, on on a smaller monitor. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, yeah, they they yeah. <laughs> Amy spent honestly like I think two weeks just perfecting these and getting them all perfect for the community yeah i mean like i mean the it's it's always refreshing for me to see significant work going into the backgrounds as well um, oh like yeah the one, one, of, one of the two that i sniped and i i probably paid about double what i needed to for it uh but <laughs> it was the one with the uh the, the playground background Oh, um, the haunted house. Uh, no, no. Uh, no. I've got, I, oh, I'm amusement park. This, the, the amusement park. Yeah. Amusement park. Oh, yeah. That's a um pretty rare one that you have that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I I was quite impressed with it. I mean, sort of like as much as the NF, the, you know, the, the 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 PFP side of it is is important. I I personally I value backgrounds just as highly. Oh, that's. <laughs> Amy will be very happy to hear that because I remember one time when she was doing all these backgrounds, she's like, "Oh, I hope they appreciate all the work I'm putting into this." So hearing that definitely <laughs> will. Um... Well, that's the thing. I mean, like you know, the, the NFT is, is the NFT, but the background provides context and adds to the story, and you know, it, it, it fleshes things out in a way that you know, if it was just a white background and everything, it's like yes, they'd look cool, but it would feel like something's missing. Yeah, I completely agree. Like even with our um, plain backgrounds we try to add like a nice like paint sort of uh, brush stroke looking effect to it we saw um you know it, uh, the ape society they did a real great job of how they did their backgrounds and we were like oh we want to also make the, the plain backgrounds look nice too so yeah that's where we got the um idea to make a nice plain one as well yeah i mean like it's I mean, I've, <laughs> I'm uh, looking through stuff on uh, on the other monitor for for the YouTube recording and stuff as well, and it's just like every time <laughs> I, I click on one, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just a little bit blown away right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it is so nice to ha- hear positive feedback after all the hard work you put in as well because um we really did just want to actually deliver something that people would enjoy and uh hunt for such as like trying to find ones they like and um we're just we're just very happy with how it actually turned out in the end um because i guess with the current market we were just we were just didn't want things to go wrong um we wanted it to, to go how we imagined and wow it's gone 10 times better we really are so happy all of us the whole team i'm really proud of all of them as well so have you had chance to celebrate yet um not <laughs> properly because i've honestly been i think even post mint i've been working around like 10 to 11 hours a day on stuff behind the scenes i'm constantly like waking up to, to sleep at the moment just making sure i um bring enough out but um once thing i get more of a um grasp on things which i'm already starting to i definitely think i can um have a have some more like celebratory uh rest as well um but i still also want to reassure investors i'm gonna still be doing those daily announcements and keep bringing things out so i very much am gonna be uh making sure the, everyone who's involved in our project um, is, feels like it's being well looked after. <laughs> I say, I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that I am uh, monitoring chat. So if you've got any, any questions that uh, you would like uh, to have answered, feel free to fire them away and uh, I'll make sure that, every, that all the questions get uh, their moment in the sun. Um, quite amazing turnout so far. We started out a little quiet because of, of another mint going on, but everybody's definitely been piling in ever since yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know st- started out with like you know 10 or so it's like okay well we'll start you know there's another mint going on that's so like you know it's like 30 40 50 <laughs> like, <laughs> well, is there that many in here <laughs> is there that many in here um I, there's my... there's we're uh we've currently got 28 i think Oh, wow, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, Hello. the numbers are ticking up and uh, people want to hear what you got to say. Well, that's, I'm, I'm glad and I'm very much happy to answer any questions anyone has. Um, even the real tough ones, I have to know my project and, and market inside out to make this a success. So I'm very much ready for any sort of question. Yeah, I'm, I'm always down to ask a tough question or two. <laughs> 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 so... What's the, 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 the first thing that you're working on now that the Mint's complete? Like, what's the first big announcement that's going to come out? Um, well, at the moment, it's been... Um, so we bought our Metaverse land that we're going to be working on and working on the model of the um, the airdrops, not just for the um, barcode, but also for the Phantom Key. Um, and we're also making sure we're talking with mutants to get the staking system um how we want it for our uh deadly sins for certain things um and we're also let me just bring the the, the trello up um yeah we we're, we're really just focusing on getting all the community side done as well such as we're holding a law competition soon for all holders so there's gonna be some nice prizes for that we're gonna do this next week um essentially where if you're a holder, you can put in a form where you can... We're going to set the scene for you, and you'll be able to carry on the story. And the best stories picked, and they're being chosen by phantoms, um, there'll be prizes for them, and we'll actually incorporate them into our actual lore. So that's something um, we're working towards. We're going to be doing that next week. Um, we're just getting that all ready at the moment. Um, as you can see in our roadmap, we're almost done with phase one, actually, um, since we sold out have um the rarity release we've been rewarding our moderators and level contests we purchased our metaverse land all we got to do now is um hold a community um competition or tournament and we're going to keep bringing them out as well and we're going to be using those roles like i mentioned earlier for the future ones um phase two we're definitely looking at more um collaboration all efforts that are necessary for us and we already have a um, partnership with the Metaverse Land project, which is organizing when to actually announce it. Um, I probably shouldn't say just now who they are, but it's a full uh, Metaverse Land partnership. 
um, and we're going to be starting the uh, phantom benefit program. So all the benefits for holding that phantom key. If you don't know what a phantom key is, essentially there's going to be 111 of them that will ever exist. They're being airdropped to all our phantoms, and after the airdrop, um, it will be a tradable asset on JPEG. Um, so what this phantom key does is 25% of our royalties gets airdropped to them monthly. And as you can see from our volume already, that we're a quarter of a million. We're already at like, I don't know, 25, 26, 80 each for them or something. So, and that's just after like a couple of days. If we like keep at this rate, it's quite a nice form of passive income. Um, what is your then, percentage, sorry? Uh, 25% to um, all... So Sorry, on 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 the sales on on JPEG, is it like five percent? Oh, yeah, twenty five percent. Five percent. Sorry. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, there's, know, there's that's, a lot. Yeah, that's that's already a chunk in that in that pot already, as it goes. Yeah, we also have um, exclusive website utility for the Phantom key holders, such as a Phantom newsletter with early access information on things going on behind the scenes, and also a reward spin wheel, where each month uh, a key holder can spin for various rewards, including ADA, merchandise, collab, whitelist spots, etc. There'll be interactive perks within Hell's House, a Phantom-only room, and we're going to be holding some really cool events in there too. Um, and they'll be also having one free airdrop from future collections, which I can't talk about too much because Solly will definitely kill me on that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I see, like, you know, looking ahead in the, in the roadmap to phase four, that there's some uh, 3D modeling coming up. Uh, will those be models of the sins to be used in various different metaverses? Um, yeah, so the 3D modeling phase, that's also for just the Hell's House and the maze and everything. In terms of your actual sin in the metaverse, it depends on what metaverse we're on, which we can create a character for you, because some don't have that capability. Um, but some, some definitely will. So we're not, at no extra cost, but just holding your NFT and making it and choosing it as the primed one. So basically, the one that you choose it from your wallet, yeah. it will generate um, the the it will, and it will generate and layer the traits for your character. So it will represent your character inside the metaverse. Nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> very yeah, nice. Didn't I'm, want to I'm make looking it. forward. To, like I've actually got a reason to look forward to the metaverse now, which is isn't something <laughs> that you're not you're going to hear me say very often. Actually, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not one of those metaverse bulls myself, but I'm, I'm kind of look, looking forward to this bit. <laughs> oh, thank you. And um, that's w another like main goal of the project was to help with the Cardano and its metaverse integration. We wanted to do it in a fun way um, and have like cross um, metaverse um, events on Cardano, such as you get a clue from Boss Cat Real Estate that you need to go to this location on, let's say, the Cornucopias one. And then we get another clue and you get an end result where you can win more of our token. So we're going to have lots of really cool interactive events. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that sounds pretty cool. I mean, everyone goes on about cross-chain uh, uh, cross uh, utility. Now you've got uh, cross-metaverse utility to add to that as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone actually suggested today, um, oh, there's... Um, going to be potential metaverse bridges in the future with other uh, blockchains. Would you be interested in that? And I'm just, I was thinking about it, but that is something on, I guess I, I want to keep Cardano as our, as, as, as our place. But if there's bridges as well, wow, there's quite a bit of opportunity you can do with that, I feel. And we've positioned ourselves really well where we can adapt to the market because we're putting ourselves at the forefront of where the metaverse is. So when as the metaverse develops, we can develop. So we definitely are a good long-term hold for investors as well. I mean, the, the technology is is kind of out there for that already. Uh, there's an ER 70, ERC-71 converter. Uh, that's, I believe, it's already operational, uh, which will convert um, NFTs from Cardano to Ethereum and back again. Oh, well... <laughs> I need to look more into this um, bridge technology. I'm oh, going to start looking into it. Sorry, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
I get I get confused with all different numbers. I'm not one of the tech <laughs> guys, to be honest. <laughs> I'm probably like the least qualified person working full time in in NFTs that you'll find. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, you do a great job managing all this in the server, though. You're very, very organized. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad I come off that way. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It, it's probably about the most honest way I can put that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, I mean, if there's any uh, questions from the community, just feel free to uh, fire them into the AMA chat and I'm keeping on the NFT chat as well. Um, would be great to have some questions from you guys. Obviously, uh, we're all here because because you're here. So mm. don't, don't worry if you feel like it's a, a question that's already been asked. There's, there's, there's always a, a different way to put to put something and might be able to drag out some extra information. Um, for instance, if we, we keep asking about metaverse stuff and we keep hearing uh, Boss Cats as the first uh, metaverse being uh, listed as an example every time, we might be able to uh, persuade him to admit that that's the early uh, release announcement he didn't want to make a minute ago. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's not... <laughs> you have to wait and see. You have to wait and oh, see. Oh, this is the thing. Like, you know, people are going to watch this back on YouTube and they're going to be like, ooh, <laughs> there's a clue yeah. there. Every time I talk about a metaverse, Boss Cats was the first answer. <laughs> oh, that's what I was thinking of. Um, I was actually um, talking to Nala recently with um, plans of the uh, concepts and stuff. So it actually isn't um, Boss Cat for our metaverse partnership, it's a different <laughs> one. But we'll let you guys know. <laughs> So um, the first question that's just popped up, um, what are the one of one holder benefits? One of one holder benefits. So that those are the rarest in the collection and that will imp staking those will give you out of any sin in the whole collection. They'll give you the greatest uh, reward for your um, uh, staking reward. You also get a role in our server if you have a um, one of the one of ones in our uh system so basically if you put, go in the competitions and stuff with the role based ones you get instant access to every competition no matter what it, you you're always in the raffle like it's guaranteed and that's same for another role as well or two more roles actually so yeah you get um some cool interactive community benefits where you can have instant access to everything and also get the greatest staking reward for the individual asset <laughs> There's a, a question in the NFT chat. Uh, well, more, more of a statement of a, need a pimp suit holder benefit. Pimp suit holder benefit. Well, that, that comes under the whole um, role system we're implementing. On, well, we're going to be announcing on Thursday. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the hardest one for its category. I'm trying to find which one it's in now. Um, I can't find it because there's, there's like 140 different roles. But it'll be the same as all the other ones. You'll be included in the raffle. Um, and not a not a specific one. Oh, you have a pimp suit. Is you get royalties or something? <laughs> it's very much just a role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, you mentioned that you were looking through some uh, collabs in the fairly near future. Um, what what kind of projects are you are you hoping to work with? I mean, you know, every, everybody wants to say Space Buds or Clonation or whatever, but is is there any projects where if you could, you know, pick one, which would it be? Um, well, I'm actually really happy with the partnership that we're going to be announcing in a few days because um, it really fits our brand and it's a metaverse related one. So going forward, we do want to partner with really. Uh, metaverse orientated projects we can um benefit us going forward in terms of collaborational efforts um do i have any in mind because we've already collaborated with a lot of projects that i we genuinely really like um i guess one i would absolutely love to collaborate with i would would, would be cornucopias um some people are gonna were guessing oh is that your um, metaverse partnership that is not our metaverse partnership um <laughs> But I do want to get to talk to their team more and hopefully um, that they can spend some time with me to talk about things. I have some great ideas and I really think their team at Cornucopias is really talented and some of the ideas we can help bring to their community as well with all our concepts could be beneficial for both. So that's, that's one I'm really looking at and going to be pushing for. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, you did just drop uh, six thousand ADA on your uh, copious plot, which yeah. uh, which was supposed to come out of the community pot, but actually came out of your back pocket. So uh, mm-hmm. the, the the community was uh, quite pleasantly surprised by that one. Yeah, they um, had a lot of fans like um, thanking me, saying that was quite like a nice gesture to do. But me and Amy, we were so we very much wanted our mint day to be a success. We can carry out our plans like as effectively as we can and the community really was so resilient on our mint day and really pushed for us everyone was shouting us out on twitter really spreading the word new members to the community because of it so we was like we wanted to thank the community for how they were and how they treated us on that day and it's given us the opportunity to really continue and grow this project long term um so we wanted to thank them by uh, me and Amy spending what, three thousand eight each from our end. So, could you give us a quick list of the collabs that you've uh, already uh, completed? Um, yeah, we've it's actually quite a few of them. Um, we've got <laughs> melting mel- melting moon boys. Uh, we've got um, gosh, when I'm asked it on the spot, my brain's <laughs> uh, pendulum. Uh, we had uh, one really close to our mint with um, Chilled Kongs. Um, let me have a little scroll through, actually, on the Cloud <laughs> Giveaway channel. Oh, yeah, The Journey. We collabed with them recently. They're great. False Idols, yeah. uh, Hema, uh, Salty Seagulls, uh, Bright Leaf Laboratories, uh, Ada Invaders. We had some pretty big collaborations near the end of our mint, which really helped. So, uh, that, shout out to Slolly for getting a lot of those organized. Uh, Secret Goat Society, um, Wise Guys, Boss Dow. So we've got a lot of um, big collaborations already um, pre-launch. Those... It's mainly um, Metaverse uh, partnership acquisitions we're mainly looking for now, but we're also going to be having some uh, collaborational efforts as well because we're going to be giving some whitelist spots away to other communities in interesting ways too. So using the role system <laughs> are any of those collabs um purchasable on uh, jpeg for people that want to get in on the uh, early history of the project um the the collabs they um the, are they on jpeg did you say yeah yeah like chilled kongs and stuff that most of them are ones that aren't but will be coming um the journey i recommend checking the journey out um I believe Hema is one of them as well. Real cool uh, project. Uh, and I can't remember. How, is, is, is Wise Guys minted? Um, uh, Wise Guys minted a couple of days ago. Okay. Or oh, yesterday. Um, one of the two. I think it was a couple of days ago. I've been so busy recently. <laughs> Things have been slipping <laughs> well, me. Thing, you, you get so much tunnel vision because you have to be, you know, 100% all in on your project. Otherwise, why the hell are you doing it? Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's like everything <laughs> just fades away. Everything else just fades away into the background, and like you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. you come back. It's like oh, stuff's happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's really cool. Um, I'm just seeing in my um server, uh, people are already starting to try hunt for roles <laughs> and trying to figure out which ones. Someone's figured out uh what the um arachnid role was, and they've got it. So that's, that's cool. <laughs> so, are you going to be publishing all these roles, or are you just going to uh, you just going to let the community find them and uh, and, and do it that way? Um, at the moment, we're letting the community have some mystique and try find them out. But on Thursday, we're going to visually um, explain this and actually do a YouTube video on it as well. Me and Solly are going to record that and uh, to help. There's quite there's quite a lot of different roles. If you just if you're just throwing all these roles of all this text. It could get a bit overwhelming, so we're going to really communicate this effectively. That's cool. So yeah, sure that 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 will be very much appreciated by everyone, I'm sure. Mm. There's some um, surprise ones in there too that I think um, people will be uh, excited to look at. Oh, um, like we even have a um, oh, I guess the the emperor role for the underworld crown. Just as if you hold the underworld crown, I wonder what benefits the emperor role gives you. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's been there's been quite a lot of uh, talk in chat about the uh, the yeah that that crown as it goes. <laughs> yeah, there's only forty of them. 
Yes, um, I, I do not have one. Um, I, I would like one. Um, my, <laughs> try, my, try my, my word project. says, ha-ha, up yours ugly, but I would like one. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, the Underworld Crown, even at the prices they're at now, like, if when we're successful long-term, people go, oh, I wish I bought an Underworld Crown back then, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's that, that's we wouldn't be here if we didn't feel like that was going to be the case. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there's 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 a couple of people typing at the uh, the, the thought of the emperor role there actually. <laughs> oh, are they? Oh, I can't I can't tell you guys. Yeah, I got got Solly who very much watches over my shoulder to not spoil too many things. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. um, it looks, it looks like Ted is going to have a sellout. They're at forty two, four thousand two hundred so far. Oh, that's 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 good news. Um, yeah, I, have to admit, I did get I did get a couple in the uh, in in the whitelist myself, so N- nothing mm. particularly rare or anything like that, but they look cool. <laughs> yeah, it's good for Cardano seeing um, other projects also sell out even in times like this. Like it, it just shows the strength of yeah, the Sienna. I mean, it gives the market hope when you know we we've gone from trading you know three million a day to trading like six hundred k in a day. Yeah, um, it's you know I, I I do a daily recap on uh, the the tools Discord server every day and yeah it's it's hard to find positive things to say sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like so it, it is nice <laughs> when, um, projects sell out and even in times like these it does it does really shine as well and even I guess um it, it really shows at the moment as well like if you are selling out in these conditions. Like you must have like built something quite yeah. quite amazing, because um, it people are quite scared with their money at the moment. So when you see a project such as um, us or Melting Moon Boys with all that trading volume and selling out, you're like, oh, well, how is that happening in a market like this? And then they look into it more, and then more people get involved. So it's actually kind of working in our favor a little bit as well, even this market condition, because. Um, if it was a quick, easy sellout in a really hype market, things like this get overlooked. But um, people are really t- t- taking an eye to us, and we're, we're so grateful, honestly. Um, so we've had a, a question pop up um, about uh, what kind of ideas you have for uh, specific games in the Hell House, whether it's going to be like any first-person shooters or RPGs or puzzle games or you know st- st- um, st- stuff other than poker, I guess. Yeah, the the main one at the moment is uh, all the treasure hunts we're going to be doing. We're going to try to incorporate it with lore. So essentially, there will be really cool, like unique uh, ways we show clues and, like, I guess, rub things like all like off walls or get a note from a tree, sort of thing. Um, so very much uh, really unique um, uh, treasure hunt systems. Um, we'll also have community uh, games where. Things like that, like like uh, little battles and stuff, that is very much a uh, possibility. Like little team team group games and having to be the team which wins to win this amount of token or something. So we do have a lot of um, cool game ideas in mind. And also um, Speed Throne, the one that's a project which is going to be helping us with all the um, 3D modeling for Unreal Engine 5. Um, they're going to be a game themselves, so we could also, um, in the future, or when obviously they have uh, time, um, could help us with the whole um, game side of it too. So we we got a lot in store for you guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot going on. So yeah. <laughs> so on top of all of that, <laughs> what kind of uh, activities and everything do you have running in Discord uh, on a regular basis to keep people uh, entertained and uh, and looking forward to the future? Um, so with pre-launch uh, and post-launch now, uh, we've been holding weekly games. So we, um, at the moment, we do like Rumble Royale, Gartic and Smash Carts. We hold like a nice little uh, Ada reward for that. Um, and then we're also going to be having, um, we're, we're basically going to be picking that back up. We're also going to be having those community competitions, such as uh, the big poker now entries with um, that sort of like role system. 
and it's also going to be um, law competitions, like we said, and uh, um, other community uh, ones as well. We're, we're t at the moment actually taking suggestions from some phantoms for cool um, other community games we can hold because we don't want to just always do poker and always law competitions. So we very much do want to have um, ideas from our community as well. We we reward implemented suggestions but because we're a community project we've got to have our community's interest at heart so if they're suggesting things to us we really take those things on board so if you guys have any good suggestions like do raise it in our suggestion channel we do, definitely would take it on board <coughs> so has there been anything so far that you can directly tr attribute to a community member suggestion um hmm sorry i'm, I'm trying to think uh if I mean, we did it's, have it's kind of an unfair question to ask at this stage <laughs> <laughs> to, to a certain extent because obviously you know you you've got your roadmap and everything like that and you know it's your vision so it's but you know, we have some um trait trait ideas from community members i remember um tony from uh, actually one of our community mods the Aether horns, those are the, like the spikes on the head, you know, yeah. the one who made up that one. We've had, had some like cool trait suggestion ideas, and we've also had um, help setting things up from community members. In terms of a huge implementation, um, I'm not too sure yet. I don't, oh, actually, the we had a level contest before because, like, when, when you hit Phantom in our pre launch um, to keep people inspired to. Uh, want to um, also still talk as well. Um, we had a nice way to reward them with some Ada prizes. We paid that out all today. Um, first place ended up getting 500 Ada and three of our NFTs in nice. the top 10. Yeah, so, um, and the person who won that then invested it all in the Deadly Sins as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, cool. well, I mean, like, that's it's, it's always good when uh, when a prize is won by a true believer. Yeah, I agree. Like it's 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 heartbreaking where you know you know you, you announce you, you announce the winner and then two days later they pop up saying, "Can I have my prize, please?" Oh yeah, never hear from them again. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you can't pick who who wins competitions, but with the level contest, I guess the more involved you are with the project, the more likely you are going to be chosen for the prize. So it ended up that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you have any issues with the uh, the, the level contest? Because obviously, that's that that's a point where people start thinking about bringing out the bots and just typing a lot of quote unquote shite. Yeah, we had to um, monitor um, it a lot because um, we didn't want people getting the phantom roll, which was level twenty five, by spamming. So we have a had a review system um, in board, so you'd have to. Uh, to get to actually get that phantom roll, you, we'd look through your messages to see that it wasn't just like you just t typing like yeah. no context things. Um, but everyone in the level contest, they were already a uh, phantom um, because that okay, I guess you need to be a high level t to do well in the level contest, um, and so they'd already been reviewed. So they were all people that we actually or even kind of. Um, we we like really like them. We're friends with them because they've been with the project for so long, and yeah. um, we've we've built bonds with our community members that have been here for a while. We're very much as a team. We are very involved with the whole community <laughs> side and that side and talking and chat and everything. I mean, like something I, I've always I well not always but often found is that mints that don't sell out immediately tend to have a strong community in the fact that you know the, the the people that are minting are minting because they love the project they're not minting for a quick flip yeah um, and you know and, and having that time when everyone's minting and having a good laugh and, you know showing each other what they got and you know lamenting over bad pulls and congratulating over good pulls is, is, is a very important part of the process of building a community which when everything's you know, over in seconds, it, it you 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 lose a lot of the atmosphere with it. 
I uh, I do completely agree with what you just said. The whole day of mint from all the way from the phantom uh, phase starting to selling out, it was just people showing their uh, deadly sins to the community and really like making an uproar in the space. We were so talked about on our mint day because of how strong our community was sharing what they got and just commenting everywhere and sharing stuff. That's what really led to um, us being so successful as well and getting all the exposure. So I do completely agree. Uh, so another question has popped up. Um, any upcoming, sorry, any upcoming appearances at events like CNFT Con? Ooh, um, I'm, well, I was going to bring this up to a couple of my team members, actually. How far away is that? Um, it's not too far away, but I believe there's a little time. Whether you'd still be able to get a booth or anything, I've got no idea. I'm, I'm in the wrong part of the world to, to care too much, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> um, I don't, I, for this one anyway, I don't, I think we're so focused on um, everything else going on right no, now that we no, haven't had in October. October. Okay. Well, that is a possibility then. I will look into it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what kind of merchandise are you looking to be rolling out in the future? Um, so, for different merchandise, we'll have things such as like a beanie. Um, we're going to have a nice t shirt and hoodie. We have actually one of our community mods who specializes in merchandise and help can help us with sourcing and stuff so we're already in um talks and getting that sorted uh we're also gonna have like just stuff like stickers and uh just different ways you can rep the project we want to have a um uh role in our server as well if you're a verified purchase purchaser of merchandise um when we first release the merchandise it won't be the whole um whole thing we'll still be getting things ready as well we want to have a, a nice set amount of things ready to purchase originally, and then we're going to build on top of that and also get some ideas from the community if they think, oh, I want, uh, let's say, um, Deadly Send socks. <laughs> I don't know why, but let's say they did, like, to wrap the community with the socks. Um, then uh, that could be a possibility if, if it's suggested. We very much do take um, what uh, our community members say on board for that. I mean, honestly, I want Halloween masks. Halloween masks. Oh, that would be cool. That would like, be cool. Like, even even if it's just a design that I can print off at home for the kids, and then you know, mm -hmm. loop a bit of string through, that 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 would be fine. <laughs> but but I, I I want Halloween masks. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll make a note of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would happily would happily pay pay a few ADA for for, for a printer download or whatever's needed. Down for that. <laughs> Like the, kids, the kids would love it kids would love it that would be so cool uh there's, there is so much we can do with our project as well which is what we kind of when we first set it, set it up um we were thinking of um how can we grow this in such a way that we can adapt and grow you know, like no matter what the market is or how it changes and if it gets better how do we stay at the forefront and be able to adapt we've really positioned ourselves in such a way which we can adapt to a, a lot that is going to be thrown at us so i really think our project is going to be one of the ones which uh withholds the uh stand of time so yeah i really think we are going to be and we're and are honestly like a blue chip project well yeah i mean that's that that's quite a quite a statement for uh, having minted a few days ago but uh, i know <laughs> i'm just so confident I mean, like, in... the, 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 you know it's it's at least in my mind the fact that you minted uh, only a few days ago kind of disqualifies you from being blue chip at this point potentially oh, I, know. I agree with but we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll go easy on the on the definitive on that one for for now yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm very uh, blue chip means you like will withhold the sta um standard time and i do agree like we haven't done enough yet to uh, suggest that but i'm saying for, in my mind like because i know what's gonna what's, what's already being planned uh from from how i'm believing in the project and like and like i'm obsessing over it because of how much i'm uh working on it and trying to make the best for our community i really do think that we will become qualified as this to the larger community eventually i'm so confident on that so um 
I, I assume that you're both working on this uh, full time without a, a, a day job interfering in, in, in things at this point. Um, yeah. So um, I'm we're in the, the lucky situation where um, I'm still finishing off university and have been able to put this sort of much time into it. Um, I really if, like make, making this a uh, long term, like I really can make this my full time thing um, by just on the success of this project and building it up, I can make this um, full time. So I, I can just have this as my main focus always, and it always will be regardless. Same with Amy. She was at the moment uh, working um, night shifts at Tesco. So <laughs> she very much does like um, want to do this full time because I guess it's hard for an artist in today's world as well to get jobs. It yeah. becomes difficult. Yeah. Um, so having this opportunity where she can sell her art and share it to such a large community and people enjoy it, she loves it. And it really is her dream job. So if, if we very much want to make this, well, it already is full time really, but we want to keep it that way. I mean, what kind of response have you had from, you know, your, your mates at university and sort of like her friends at, at Tesco's, which for people that aren't in the UK, Tesco's is like Walmart, for instance. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, my, I guess my you know, housemates um, thought I was a bit crazy at first because <laughs> I was locked away in, in my room focusing on all this thing. Like, oh, are you sure it's going to be successful? Why are you spending all this time? Like, I, I literally, I put everything to the side and I just really made this my full focus and made a lot of sacrifices to make this a success. And when they very recently when they were looking at what I've built and um, what I've created with my team, they were really just blown away by it. Like, wow, you were doing that right above my room, like the whole time. <laughs> so, and with Amy's uh, friends at Tesco as well, she like for the last two weeks, she had to um, take two weeks out of work to make sure the one of ones were all ready and finalized in time. So I guess people... I guess people don't realize how much work there is really involved in all of this. It is so much work involved, but that's why we treat it like a business and organize it as such too. Yeah. I mean, like uh, it's, you know, but I think a lot of uh, consumers realize that there's a, that there's a whole lot of work involved, but you know, it's even, even in, until you've been through that process yourself, you never quite realize yeah, I definitely thought it would be a lot of work before I started, but I didn't realize until actually experiencing myself to the level of responsibility you also have. Yeah, I mean, you're juggling like literally a thousand different details in your head all at once as well. So and yeah. everything has to be done by the deadline. And <laughs> Yeah, so you, you have to treat it like a business for that to succeed, right? Like, <laughs> Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's... If if you don't, then you'll fail. Yeah, quite honestly, like it's you know that the, the market is cutthroat. Of yeah, I I agree. So we we very much um, treat our deadlines seriously. Um, we just try keep pushing things out effectively, and we try to give value as effectively as we can too, without it within reasons mean so. Uh, yeah, um, just make sure everybody knows if you have any questions, feel free to uh, fire them either to either into the uh, AMA chat or into NFT chat, uh, and I'll make sure that we get a chance to uh, to ask the questions. Um, we've also have somebody. Sorry, I missed this one a little bit earlier. Confirming that they would buy socks. Definitely buying. Oh, socks. they would buy socks. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add it to the list as well. Halloween masks and deadly sin socks. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite funny we have to do this now <laughs> that has been said I mean, it's, so. it's, it's going to become a meme if you don't yeah <laughs> it's going to become a meme if you do as well at this point so you might you might as well roll with it <laughs> oh we're, we're locked in now <laughs> <That's Eastern Sox. laughs> oh dear so um there's a question about promoting uh, deadly sins to other companies that uh produce product products that are sin related um, Solly has very much been on the side of 
wanting to have real life partnerships as well and he's already been trying to reach out to some places i don't know the full details of everyone who he is reaching out to but um i do know that that is a possibility yes I mean, you know, we, we we found each other, and my uh, well, I mean, I'm tall sin now. I was I was original sin before that, so uh, we, we you got at least one uh, sin brand going there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that before actually. <laughs> oh, so, I mean, like you said, as soon as I saw the project, I couldn't not be all in on it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like um, I think there's we got another couple of questions coming through. Um, but yeah, I think we're starting to get to, towards the point where we can think about rounding it up. Um, mm -hmm. Was there any other big points that I've somehow missed through uh, throughout our uh, conversation so far? Um, we have covered quite a good chunk of the whole um, metaverse side um, and also some of the benefits with all our role tiered systems and holding. Um, yeah, I'm just looking through our stuff now. I think we've covered a lot of it. Um, I guess one thing I get to also say is 50% of all our royalties we make is going towards the development of the project. And you can find um, all our expenditure in our bank log channel in Discord. And also by going to our website, you can look, um, is, I'll open it real quick. Um, we have a tab which says Deadly Sins Wallets. And you can see our Metaverse Property Wallet and Royalty Reserve Wallet. And you click onto them. And you can check all the transactions to make sure everything is being distributed fairly and according to what we've said. So we're, we're being having a like a high level of transparency with all of that. That's cool. I mean, uh, obviously, you guys have a final say on where money goes and everything, anyway. But it's 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 it's. it's refreshing or it's going to be refreshing to see all the different business expenses uh, laid out um, and I think for a lot of people that in itself is going to be a learning experience anyway yeah we like for a lot of our phantoms I guess um, that's something that uh, early on when they were asking us all the questions like oh how are you going to afford this how are you going to do this how are you going to do that how will I know you're spending on this and not just keeping the majority but that's where we got the idea to have all, have all this transparency so we can cover all of that and also give investors peace of mind that this project is being, um, we're putting a lot into it, really. Like, uh, me and Amy, we've both said that um, this is a really long-term thing for both of us, so we don't mind spending whatever amount to keep it alive. Like, we see it as, like, you know how you sometimes see with... Um, uh, company owners when they call their 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 startup business their baby or something we feel the, the same way that this is like a like baby that like we, we want to look after this project and really want it to succeed you know yeah i mean <laughs> yeah i mean you, you you're definitely showing that already i mean you know <laughs> the, yeah. the fact that you still haven't slept like however many days after mint now uh, shows that quite admirably <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've slept, but not not enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a, a couple of comments coming through about making sure people snipe those rares because uh, people are coming for them. Oh yeah, no, even um my my dad, he was um because he he knows how much I'm into this. He he loves what I'm doing. He went onto the tools website and saw some. Uh, looking at the rare ones and stuff and he's like oh this is a steal can you send me some ada i want that one <laughs> i mean yeah, um, you, can, you can't go wrong with that endorsement can you yeah my um, um my family and amy's family as well both very supportive and are actually invested in the project themselves so <laughs> quite quite nice yeah i mean like you know when, when your family comes on board to meet your family that's that that's always a moment right yeah. I See, mean, my dad. Talking you, about, probably, you obviously spend a lot more time in Discord than you do with your family, anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's quite it's quite a funny concept, though. Um, seeing my dad um, talking in the chat sometimes to other people. Not much. He doesn't talk much, but when I do see him talk, it's quite funny because they they don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not going to ask you to out him. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, um, if, if if that's about all, uh, I think now's a, a good time to wrap it up before people get too bored. Yeah, um, like I quite a lot. I feel quite. quite. <laughs> yeah, Thank you so been, much for inviting me. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure having you. Um, I, no, I mean, no doubt we'll be seeing each other in the, in the fairly near future in the uh, in the Deadly Sins Discord anyway. But, uh, yeah. you know, an especially big thank you to everyone that's turned out and uh, listened to us uh, talk about the project for the last 90 odd minutes. Um, your your presence is amazing. There's been so many of you and the question has been awesome. And thank you all for turning up. Um, if you are watching this back on YouTube, um, feel free to give it a like and a share and make sure it gets to the uh, the eyes of anyone that might be interested. And uh, feel free to drop us a uh, um, uh, uh, subscribe as well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, link, links to the project and everything will be down below. And thank you again, everyone, for turning up. Thank you for listening and thank you for having me here. Thanks again and uh, good night.